There he is. It makes you docile, easy to manipulate. Well, I drink tap water. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Regardless of whether tap water makes you dumb, when you first look at your final project, you might feel that way a little bit. The link for the final project is in Canvas, so you can go click on that. This is a made up page just so that you can see the idea, and everyone has their own unique data set. So find your name, and when you click on it, it pulls up this with an intimidating amount of data and stuff. In fact, it, part of the problem is I'm zoomed in so far that I can't see it all. Lots and lots of columns. And it's a good idea to go look at your data set early just so that you can get over the shock of how many columns there are. And no, that's not a mistake. So let's talk about what we're trying to do with this data set. The idea here is that you are part of a government program to analyze data to help win a war. Why are we doing a war? Because then it's life and death and this feels like it really matters. Plus, hopefully it's just cool. It's war against Latveria. That's not a real country. And so you don't have to feel bad or have moral compunctions here. Um, there is a note here. Some data sets have civilian casualties. We are not doing that. So if you come across anything talking about civilian casualties, just ignore it. That's, that's not part of the final project. For us, it's all about the enemy casualties. How do we maximize the number of enemy casualties? Um, if you're worried Latveria is not populated by humans, so no, no moral issues there. What variables do we have? We have the stock index and the terrorism level and firepower, which is different than payload and the number of weapons and bombs and missiles and first aid stations and how many spies, the amount of media suppression, how many personnel and temperature, napalm, and IG-88 is classified. So you don't know what that is, but it's a categorical variable. It's either none or installed. There's another categorical variable up here, terrorism. It can either be low, medium, or high. So those are the two categorical variables in the data set. Some other minor details. Temperature levels can sometimes be really weird. Like I tried to make it so that the computer would create data that was reasonable, but, you know, 212 degrees, sometimes the computer doesn't realize that's not reasonable. Another one is, what's the difference between firepower and payload? Um, I'm not sure. A uh, physics book said they were different. So, we have a couple of different clients here, okay? General Delippa, he's interested in the nuts and bolts of how did you do things? Were there errors in the data that you had to fix? Did you curve things? Were the categorical variables or interactions? How did you find your model? Those sorts of things. He is expecting a high R squared like 0.9 or even 0.99. That's not a guarantee that you'll be able to do that. Simply a guideline to say if your R squared is 0.4, you might want to keep working on your model. General Oroksby, he's not so much about the model, but about the accuracy of the model. This general is requesting two things. He wants a confidence interval for one of the slopes. I don't know that I really care which slope you pick, but if you're having trouble picking one, find one that's small and make a confidence interval for it. Why does he not want confidence intervals for all the slope values? Because that's just a lot. So just pick one and that'll be enough. And then use the first row of your data to make a prediction. And I'll show you in another video how to do that. But in a nutshell, looking at this first row of data, we had 5,341 enemy soldiers killed. Well, if I put these values in my model, I should be able to get 5,341 as my predicted value, and it'll be off, off by how much. I mean, that's all valuable information, which is why that general wants to see how this goes. If you do a prediction, you get 5,342. You'll be like, oh, wow, this model really does help predict really well. On the other hand, if you predict, you know, 10,000, you're like, no, it was actually 5,341. That would be an issue. How are they even getting these values in the first place? It says up here that it's alternative dimension simulate. You know what? Don't ask those kind of questions. It just is. Then we have General Leroctic. He wants to see an appendix that means the computer output for the models and all the residuals. This general is my friend because his request is going to help me to grade whether you have done things correctly in your report because I can flip to the appendix and say, ah, here's your output, here's your residuals, this is what you used to decide that you have a good model. Great, now I can go through your report and make sure that it's done well. 
And then last, we have General Tseno. He is most interested in whether you have kept to the honor code and not asked questions that were considered cheating, but kept yourself morally right, which in the next video, we will talk about what kinds of questions are considered okay.